everything. Busy? It's good. Busy is good. It's usually dead, huh? Come here. Full line of test kits. Is this the stuff you were talking about? Reflux. Yeah. Uh -huh. So is this like that? Um. Uh, yeah. yeah. Same thing or? Um. Yeah. It is. It is. It seems to be. People have proven it to also work on fish, like fungal infection on fish. Okay. Because when you pre-biopsy, that's called the second anti-fungal fungal infection on fish. It's pretty cool. Hydropower. Oh, I love this stuff. Garlic extreme. Oh yeah, I gotta check out your Zoas. My frag racks. I always like coming here because they always have a lot of coral. Usually when you come here, you can find some nice frags. Different variety, whatever you're looking for. LPS, SPS for sure. And uh, Zoas, um, Alan let me know that he had stocked up on his Zoas, so I wanted to swing by here and uh, take a look. I know I just did a coral order online, I ordered from a cultivated reef, ordered quite a few Zoas, spent quite a bit of money. But uh, that hashtag where it says all my money goes to corals uh is pretty true at least in uh, most reefers cases uh they had some nice zoas right here i'm gonna take a look i'm gonna make sure i swing by and get something before i uh, take off but in this video i'm gonna go ahead and be talking with alan uh because everybody wants to know more about his display tank you know i came in here i shot a video of his display tank I have a few videos and you can see the progression of the uh, display tank uh, taking off so today in this video we're going to talk about the uh, equipment that Alan's running he, the equipment that he's going to plan on running and uh, this video is actually going to be a two-part video like I said uh, 20 minutes if you're into it is really going to feel like a five minute video but this is going to be a good video it's going to talk, uh, give you a little bit of perspective from Alan. And uh, by listening to Alan, you can tell that he's really educated and knows what he's talking about. So kick back and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll show you what I get later on. All right, so I guess the way we started with this tank, we did um, auto dosers. We started with Bionic 2 part. Bionic 2 part, and then we did Acro Power, and then we did all Red Sea Trace Elements, and then no box. I mean, did it when did we see start seeing changes like maybe a month two months with whenever we started that automation and all the system of the dosing you know i mean it takes a while for everything to kind of like start coming back and like getting all the colors damn bro so i know i'm getting a class right now on an sps but <laughs> that's some fire right there man last of, yeah this one with the red bull zoas the other one is like gold, gold oh, Zoas, yeah. and those are, those, whatever, the bottom they named them are uh, Kitter's Kier, Blood Blasters, and so those are blasters. But in the recent weeks, we have actually upgraded our system, 
I started to introduce calcium reactors to some of the systems here at the store. I use uh, Aquamax. Oh, I like Aquamax. Calcium reactors. And I use a T1 for, uh, I think it's ready for a 300 gallon tank. And this one is like 250, so I always like to overkill a lot of, like overdo some of the equipment, you know what I mean? Like the rated, like uh -huh. the ratings. Just so I don't have to do that much maintenance and stuff, so. Right now it's, right now it's running. I set it up um, a week ago. Um, I think if I ever get into it like that, I'm gonna have to hit you up on how to do uh, like the customer. It's, just, Cause this is. It's, it's simple. It's really simple and really easy. The only thing that is like, kind of deters a lot of people, the cost of it is pretty high. You know, I quoted this LB guy who wanted to do calcium reactor, he, I think it was like $700 for everything, which would include the reactor, the pH controller, uh, the CO2 tank, the valve, and then media, and yeah, it's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Like it's... So is the drip, drip and bubble count and all that really... Uh... Um, I don't use that. You don't? No. Um, that's like super old school. That's like super like old school. That's like, you know what I mean? Science, all we do, like, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm still missing the pH controller. Uh huh. They're, they'll be here on Monday, but whenever I do set it up, is the way you, the way we do it, we pretty much fully open the valve to the water instead of just dripping it. Because if you drip it, you run the risk of clogging the pipe. So the way we do, we just fully open it, and then all we do is just play with the pH. Because the pH is pretty much, it's gonna, it's telling you the, the melting, like the rate. You know what I mean? So let's say you start at 7.4 pH, and then your KH stays at 9.5. You know that the same, the same um, alkalinity and the same calcium are being dissolved uh, equally. And that's what it's. That's what it's saying. And you also add magnesium, mag, mag little. Um, Supplementation, uh, little like crystals kind of thing in the in the media, and you're also supplementing the magnesium uh, equal rates. Okay, so the only thing you dial in in the calcium reactor is the pH probe. That's it. So let's say you're at 7.4 and your uh, KH is, well, you say you test from a couple days and it's like at an 8.0, and they say ah, I want to raise to 9.5. All you do is decrease the KH in your pH controller. And it's going to open and close the CO2 valve, and from there it's going to drop it, and then you test a couple days later and see if it if it's rising. You know, you, you'll just keep it there. You just rise it a little bit steadily, and then what you do, you the way you stop it, you bring it back to the same pH because they will keep it at the same pH. Because you know what I mean. So let's say you uh, were at 7.3, and it would stay at 8.0. You're bringing down to 7.2, and then it will start gradually going up. Once you reach 9.5, you bring it back up to 7.3. So you can stop it and it will stay consistent to uh, at 9.5. Sounds pretty complicated still. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, back in the day, well not back in the day, like the old school way is you gotta count every two to three bubbles a uh, second, every time the CO2 valve opens, and then you gotta take into account the pH level in the reactor, and then you gotta take into account the drip system on the, on the tub in the back, you gotta make sure it's like three three drips or like it's just three drips per like every two seconds or something like that. So you see like there's three, four components like the old school. You have to, you, know, you wouldn't have to worry about the bubble count, the pH, and then like the, the drip and the uh, point into your sign. This other way, all you do is just pretty much just dial in your pH, pH pro, pH controller, and after that, so you, that's all you need is a pH controller. You don't need a Apex or no. Huh? I mean, the ones that we use is our Milwaukee pH controllers. Those seems to work pretty well, just as well. You know, it seems to work really good. You know what I mean? Like, and I tell people like calcium reactors. I know they're really expensive, but man, you should see the stuff. Like we back home, like my my 250 gallon cube. Like we started using it maybe like half a year ago. You just see like the growth and like the echoes. It's just because it's so consistent and you have like equal parts pretty much of like the, of like the calcium and alkalinity being dissolved. It's 
so it's like really consistent and the acros well, of course they like stability so once you create that stability it's just they just explode with growth. You know what I mean if and if you think about it like the media you're using is crushed coral. Everything that makes the coral is being dissolved. So you're also dissolving trace elements, you're dissolving anything that made that coral. You know what I mean? The media that's in the media that's in the reactor is called reborn because it's literally all is it's making new corals from old corals, push corals. So is that the media that, that you're using? Is it from a certain company? Um, or? Yeah, it's uh, we use we like to use uh, two little fishes. Okay. Yeah, that always seems to be the best one. Bang for the buck, it's like twenty bucks for like maybe like ten, fifteen pounds. And then the mag. The mag little pellets also we use it from the uh, little fishes, two little fishes. But everything, the calcium reactor and like the calcium reactor, the valves, those are Aquamax, and then the pH controller is uh, Milwaukee. They seem to be more consistent. And then the CO2 tanks, what I would recommend people to people are doing. You know I mean, because if you go to like one of those welder supplies, they'll sell you a CO2 tank for 140 bucks, which is like ridiculous. So to save you like a couple like bucks, like, what I would do is buy the CO2 tank on eBay or Amazon. It's like 50 bucks, and then just take it to them and they'll refill it for you for like 15 bucks, and then you can just return it. It's like reusable. Um, and and you don't have to get a junky uh, CO2 can, right? Huh? And you won't. Your you can keep your nice CO2, brand new CO2. Yeah, they'll okay. they'll fill it up. You can drop it off in a day, and then they'll, they'll fill it up. But we'll like what I like doing is just getting. Turning and just get the other one. Hey man. Right now, casting reactors is where we're going. You know what I mean? Because here at the store, like this tank is like doing pretty awesome and I don't want anything to happen to it. So oh, yes. some reactors is pretty much a known science that it works just as well, but even better sometimes. And two part. Yeah, like I say, like the cost for a uh, custom reactor will be around seven hundred bucks for three hundred dollars. And for I think for a dosing pump, you'll still run pretty high though. You'll run at like maybe three three fifty if you get a pretty decent dosing pump. Like, like a bubble magnet will run you like two eighty, two fifty something like that. So you know, in the crazy. long run, the calcium reactor lasts forever. I mean, the only thing I'm sure that probably goes out of tune is a pH Pro controller. Probably got to dial it in and stuff, so... But everything else is like permanent, so... Yeah, I mean, the last video a lot of people wanted to know about um, the equipment, and I didn't even know that... I think you showed it to me, but I forgot. About the equipment underneath the tank. You know what I mean? Everything is consistent. Consistency, like I said last time. You know what I mean? Like the red sea trace elements or those, it's depending on the calcium uh, depletion. So let's say you're re deple depleting like 20 parts per million every week. So you just gotta dose, like if you get some 1 ml for every, for every 10 gallons of water or 20 gallons of water, something like that. So, If you, if you think about it, like it's just, it makes sense, like because you're reusing the calcium. You know what I mean? It's they're intaking the trace elements and you're replenishing back with the calcium. So it's pretty awesome. And I also both I've noticed I increased the cage in this one, like maybe two weeks ago, and the coral seems to like. Love okay, it. okay. So with the calcium reactor, you, it's it's not gonna actually raise your alkalinity back up, is it? It'll maintain where you're at. Yeah. So the way the way I'm gonna tune it, I'm gonna start like around let's say like 7.5 pH in the calcium reactor, like the in the in the reactor of the calcium reactor, and then from there I'll just start tuning it, and then I'll turn out the, the two part, and then I'll start dialing it back in. Okay. But I I kind of know how much I'm gonna start with, like maybe 7.2, because at home I have the same volume of water, so it seems to keep it pretty stable, like a 7.2. 6.8 so I'm gonna start at 7.2 and then come down to like 6.8 but I'm gonna do it gradually because I can't do it all at once oh, okay.
Yeah, because that's what I was thinking, I was reading about. And it's actually like an alkalinity reactor, right? It just maintains your out. It doesn't actually, it's not actual calcium, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Because calcium, it has two parts. That's why, that's why whenever you sell bionic, it's two parts. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what, so what happens is, that's why, I don't know if you, if you guys have noticed, like whenever you buy two part, like the alkalinity and calcium, you have two little cups. And yeah. when you mix them, they turn white and they're like, wow, like it's just, so one of them, I think, is the component. So the, the alkalinity, the part one, that's the one that raises it. And then the, sec the second part is the one that binds it. That's why it, it turns white, because it's binding like, the calcium. It's like kind of like... That was cool. Science, man. I uh know. -huh. <laughs> Get schooled by Alan right here. Yeah. Can we do a top-down shot? Yeah. Let's get a top-down and then we'll see the filtration. Sweet. I think this is cool too, that painting. Is this a, a series of a painting? Is he going to paint the other part of the um, fish? Or? Yeah. So right now it's like, what he did, he just painted like the Mandarin body right now. He's working on some zoanthids. Oh, okay. I'm trying to see like how that goes and stuff. Yeah, I think it looks cool. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like we, I don't know. We we saw like the reef weeds, right? Uh -huh. When they started doing that stuff. Yeah. And after that, and there was a, like the local artist that I was like, ah, it's pretty cool. If he if he gave it a try, you know. This is cool. It's yeah. popping. Give it a try and see maybe it works out. It's going dark too, so if I go to the dark, I'm going to go to the dark. Oh yeah, the tank looks way better too. Huh? Oh damn. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, I love this tank. Yeah, and then I added like a little, a little arch because I was running out of room to perform some perform more rock. I think that monster port is pretty cool. It's like a Superman monster. There was a guy that had like a really big honey and just came and just gave us like a crap little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Here. I'm like, cool man. <laughs> you never say no to free stuff. <laughs> oh sweet. There you go. If your LFS doesn't have a nice display, I really wouldn't believe everything that they say. So I keep coming back okay. over here. And all the frags that I gave you, the echoes, they all came from this. That's sweet, man. It's crazy. I need some of those. Hey, um, I had people ask me, what are these specs on the, uh... We don't even know, man. Are they coral or is that a... They were saying Mojanos or... I don't think they're Mojanos. I think they're, like, something... Something, a different variation, man. Because Mojanos have, like, bubble little tips. Uh-huh. Those are just, like... I don't even know, man. And I still didn't my best. I there. You know what I mean? They don't seem to harm the corals. They don't seem to bother I mean, the corals still keep growing like, the way they want to. You know what I mean? All right, let's go take a look because I keep uh, coming back to the tank, but... There's no, like, over, overwhelming factor because of the FPS. Yeah. We're cleaning up and out of the tanks because we were moving all the fragments. Uh-huh. So I count one, two, three, four radions. So we have four XR15s, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-se
Oh, that's a big old tank. What is this, a 50 gallon breeder? Make sure you hit that bell notification, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.